The News for Jack's I team is digging into claims that the federal government is flying illegal immigrants into Jacksonville in the dark of night as the Biden administration tries to handle the flood of people crossing into the U.S. along the southern border. Taking a live look at the airport, Congressman John Rutherford tells us he believes around 7,000 undocumented migrants have come through here over the past few months. Now, I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci is putting these claims through the trust index. We heard from many of you rumors of illegal immigrants coming into Jacksonville overnight, thousands of them. We have been investigating and now the Biden administration confirms that is happening here as they deal with the crisis at the border. Illegal immigrants from South and Central America continue to surge across the U.S.-Mexico border. And these photos show a chartered 737 coming from Texas, landing late Saturday night in Jacksonville. Airport police there to help escort the migrants off the plane and onto a bus. Local photographer David Rosenblum shot these images, some of his pictures in an article in the New York Post, which details the U.S. government moving migrants from the southern border to shelters across the U.S. Many appear to be children. We haven't received any answers. Uh, the, the administration, uh, the Biden administration is keeping Congress in the dark on this. Uh, I think they know that Americans will be outraged. Republican Congressman Michael Waltz is upset, saying this is not the way to deal with the border crisis. With such a widespread issue like this, how do you even start to solve a problem like this? Well, I think you have to uh, reverse some of the policies that this administration has put in place or some that they eliminated just because they were done by the Trump administration. They worked. Saturday's flight was on Avalo Airlines, which doesn't typically fly into JAX. This one came in from Houston, then headed to Westchester County, New York. But a history shows the airline has been flying in and out of Jacksonville International since at least August 13th. Flights coming from places like Burbank and Ontario, California, as well as Houston, El Paso, Austin and McAllen, Texas. The I-Team discovered records showing a total of 21 of ALO flights have landed here in the past three months. Why is the administration flying thousands of migrants from the border to Florida and New York in the middle of the night? Uh, well, I'm not sure that it's in the middle of the night, but let me tell you what's happening here. During Tuesday's briefing, the White House press secretary confirmed the Biden administration is flying migrant children across the country. Here we are talking about early flights, earlier than you might like to take a flight. Um, it is our legal responsibility to safely care for unaccompanied children until they swiftly can be swiftly unified with a parent or a vetted sponsor. She says the Office of Refugee Resettlement coordinates travel for children in American custody. But Republican Congressman John Rutherford believes it's been done under a veil of secrecy. We, we saw all of those people in Del Rio living under the bridge, thousands of them. Well, guess what? They, they didn't just disappear from Del Rio. They're now in our communities out here all over the interior of the country. Rutherford tells us he plans to draft a bill that would require the government to disclose details about the migrants and where they're heading. JAX officials had no comment, pointing out it's a public use airport. And this is a federal operation. So while we don't have the numbers about how many or the exact details here, we have confirmed that the claims that illegal aliens are being brought into and through Jacksonville during the night are true. We'll keep working to get you more information. Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, The Local Station. Vic, thank you. Senator Marco Rubio sent us this statement saying, quote, Instead of securing our borders and protecting Americans, President Biden continues to bring illegal migrants into the United States, many of which do not have documentation and could pose threats. The Biden policies, the senator says, strain local communities and make it even harder to enforce common sense laws in the future.